What do you mean by dynamic memory allocation in C++? What is a dynamic memory? How it is different from static memory allocation? And how can it be studied with the help of executing programs? Hello everyone, I am Sukanya from GoEduHub Technologies and in this video we are going to discuss and then perform programs on dynamic memory allocation in C++. Dynamic memory allocation in C or C++ refers to performing memory allocation manually by a programmer. Dynamically, memory allocated is allocated on heap and non-static and local variables get memory allocated on stack. Applications of dynamic memory allocation are use of dynamically allocated memories to allocate memory of variable size which is not possible with compiler allocated memory except the variable length array. The most important use is flexibility provided to the programmers. There are many cases where this flexibility helps. Examples of such cases are linked list and tree. Memory allocation in C++ supports the operators malloc and calloc function of C language and also has two new operators. Those are new and delete. New operator denotes a request for memory allocation on the heap. The syntax is pointer variable is equal to new and then the data type. Similarly, the uh, delete operators as programmer's responsibility to deallocate the dynamic allocated memory. So it needs to provide a delete operator in C++ language. Delete and then the pointer variable. If you want to free the array located, then you can use the delete and the square brackets and then the pointer variable. The example for it is that we have memory allocation using new operator. So the reference we have passed of variable p and int is the data type of it. And then value is passed and assigned to this equal to 10. The memory allocation and value assignment using the new is 20. And then the new value uh, array is created having the size 5 and the data is incremented by 10. i is each time incremented by 10 and it goes to less than equal less than 5 and the value gets incremented by 10 similarly here also it goes to less than 5 for j and then memory is deallocated for p for the p1 and for p2 respectively so the output will be 10 20 and then by how much this i exactly gets incremented each time plus 10 for the p2 variables that is by 0.5 it gets incremented so 10.5 then again one is added then 11.5 12.5 13.5 and so on and similarly the memory gets deallocated now there are some static members of class also the static member members are class members that are declared using static keyword. There is only one copy of static data member in the class even if there are many class objects. This is because objects share the static data number. The initialization is or the syntax is static data type and then the variable name. You can see here static the data type and then the variable name is mentioned that is static int and then the object count is a variable and this is how static allocation is done and s is in shown and then each time the value gets incremented or changed so x is firstly 10 then x is updated again x is 20 and similarly this is how static updation is done on that particular object which is created here and the object name is count object count and then the static method or the how the me member functions are used by help of ch function that is check it has been used for the check class now i'm going to execute both the programs on the c++ programming command line so this is the program for the dynamic allocation of memory with the help of using new operator that is new keyword is used for the data type and then the variable references passed so when I execute this particular program, you will see that the changes of and then the freeing of memory. So this is how P is firstly then 10, P1 is 20 and then P2 which is an array we initialized for the dynamic allocation is 10, 12, 10, 11, 12, 13 and then 14. So this is how memory is allocated and similarly with the help of delete operator you can see that memory de deallocation is also done. Deallocation is delete keyword and then the variable that is p1, p2 and p1 and p2. p2 is an array so this is how memory is deallocated. Similarly the next program is for static uh, member functions. 
so this is done with the help of static keyword is used and then the function name is used object count and then the respective data members are also assessed and then incremented value is shown each time with the help of check class which is already created and then it displays that how many times the object has been created number of time the object is created of this check particular class now as i run this program you can see that x is firstly 10 then it's updated to 20 then 30 and then 40 and number of object created in the static memory allocation is 4 4 times the x is updated so it is created the object of check class is created 4 times so in this particular video we have studied about the dynamic memory allocation the new and delete keywords how do they operate and then the static method how the static allocation is also been done in c for more programs and tutorial portion we will look to upcoming videos thank you